cool. <clears throat> All right, we are going to go ahead and pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for our time this morning, for another day, whatever our day is starting out to feel like, to be like, uh, whatever seems to be ahead for us today, God. I just ask that you give us peace today. Help us to really hear you in our study today and really just absorb whatever it is you need for us to say. God, um, thank you so much for just giving us this platform to, to worship you, to just proclaim your name, to study your word, to get together in such a very odd place to do this. But God, thank you for giving us all a heart to meet people where they are. And um, all of these, all of these uh, content creators that are doing the same, um, God, just bless them and guide them and help them and give them peace and patience and grace <laughs> in these crazy, crazy times and this crazy platform. Um, God, and help us to be examples. And God, just um, I lift up anybody who comes in here today. Um, Oh, thank you, God, for bringing in Hype, the Husky. I uh, haven't seen him in a while. God, thank you so much for bringing him in here. Uh, be with Hap and, uh, and her with work, as I know she's going through some crazy stuff at work right now. Um, be with them. Help them today. Guide them. Uh, just, just shower them with your blessings and your peace and your rest today. Um, be with Beth and Chris, as it seems like they've <laughs> started the day out with um some fun security issues on the internet that is um god uh, something that we all need to just have a lot of patience and grace over and uh forgiveness for those involved in that um god will you just help us to to be the light be the example in situations where it's too easy to fuel the fire and add to the negativity or toxicity in a situation help us to help us to just bring light into every situation that we come across that we that we find ourselves in god um and help us to remember that you have placed us where we are for your work and your purpose um and just help us to have an amazing time in our study today god thank you for everybody who um who comes in and out thank you for the opportunity to do this thank you for your word um, and for your lessons and guidance um thank you just thank you so much god be with all of us today help us to hear you and really focus in on you in your name amen hey hype how you doing, dude? I have not seen you in ages. It is so good to see you. We are we are hopping into a Bible study today. Um, we are doing um, we are we are jumping into a new series today. Um, called Healthy You, and each week we'll have like a different topic that we're really going to dive into in different areas of scripture. Um, this week is rest, so um, God's been kind of guiding um, this study, putting it together, and um, I'm really excited about it. And so today we are jumping into Matthew 11 and then we are going to jump into Psalms 23 after that. So we're going to jump into a couple areas of scripture today. Um, so here we go. Um, good. I'm glad you're good. How um, have you still been? I Gosh, I haven't had time to like actually hang out in anybody's streams really much at all for like the last year so I'm finally getting back into that um have you still been streaming and and I know I loved hanging out in your channel and just seeing um you just you had such a wonderful um patience and and just made it so fun and you you played with a lot of uh young teens and um, you know, the younger gamers and everything and provided such an amazing area for them to just be supported and, and have a safe, um, 
place to hang out and I love that so much. Um, it's been a while since I've been able to catch up with you though. Be back into it in about a month. Had to find other temporary work. Oh dude, I so hear you. I so hear you. I so hear you. Well, God be with you, man. That's, you know, whenever a God provides for that, you know, for you to get back to that, I think, I think it's so important for us to take a break every once in a while and just, you know, just, just really, you know, first make sure, you know, are we trusting God with our plans, with, with his plans for us, right? Um, and letting him guide that and nurture that and, and really lead us in that direction. Um, and, uh, you know, be that influence, be that role model that we're intended to be in that space. And, you know, taking a break isn't a bad thing sometimes. Sometimes that's what God really needs us to do. I took a break for the last year almost. Um, and it really, I feel like it really helped me to hear God and, and see his plans and really just grow in my trust and my faith for him um, and the direction that he's taking me in, in this space. So I will definitely pray that, you know, I, I do pray that that he does that for you, that whatever capacity, um, you know, he calls you to maybe get back into it or, you know, he's, he leads you to, to go a different direction, whatever that looks like for you, um, that you be led by God and, and that he just bless you in that and whatever role he places you in to do his work. Um, so thanks for all that you do. Um, and all that you've done. And I know that even if you can't be doing it right now, um, just know that you have left a lasting impact on so many people and especially so many young people. And that is just, that is just amazing. And don't, don't forget that and don't discount that and just, just be grateful and, and, um, have peace with that fact that you were able to provide that space for however long, you know, that lasted and, and whenever that might happen again, but just be at peace with that. And I hope that, um, I hope that you, that you see that in it. Um, it's so easy on the topic of rest. It's so easy to feel like we're just kind of running, running, running. And it's like when we get past a phase of our life that we thought was going to last longer, it's like, oh my gosh, like how do I get back to that? Right. And it, it's so easy to just focus on like, but that's right there and I want it and I need to do it. And like, these are all the reasons and they're great reasons. And then it's hard to focus on, okay, like that's not where God placed me right now. Let's just be at rest with where I'm at now and be at peace with that. Um, and I don't know if that's what you're feeling, but you know, whatever the case may be for you, I just, I pray that, that God blesses you with peace and maybe, uh, this, uh, scripture that we're going to go in today, maybe that'll speak to you. Um, I hope so. I hope so. Anybody who's here, I hope that it, that it is uplifting. Um, I'm committed to, um, if, if whoever comes in, whoever is here, if you are lurking while you're working, this is such a friendly space to do that. Um, and I try to make sure that, you know, if you are trusting me to be on in the background while you go about your day, that we are feeding your ears with positive encouragement and, um, and just good content to fuel your day. So I do want to jump into our verses today. So, um, again, our topic this week is rest. We are jumping into our new series, um, every day, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, we'll be streaming Bible studies. Um, 7 a.m. Pacific time is when we start. We go for usually about three hours, but it's not entirely dedicated to the Bible study, but I am happy to just jump right back in at whatever capacity, um, people want to dive back into it at any point during our time. So there's our little schedule, come and hang out and and do your thing here uh, anytime. And uh, Wednesdays, we do go into a more in-depth private voice chat Bible study, which is also lurk while you work friendly. Um, it's just a more private atmosphere for those people who don't like the more public stream atmosphere. Um, okay, so we are going to jump into Matthew 11. Matthew 11 um, particularly later in the chapter, <laughs> is incredibly powerful. 
and really is one of the most, I think it's one of the most quoted when people are stressed out um, or anxious or just worrying about really just about anything. This is one of the most quoted passages and for good reason, for good reason. So in Matthew 11, we're going to jump down to verse 28, and it says, Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Okay, so first of all, that first section there, come to me all who are weary and burdened and I will give you rest. So that is, that is Jesus talking, okay? So this, this whole thing, this is Jesus talking and he is telling you, when you come to me, when you come to, to Christ, right, bring your anxiety, bring your exhaustion, bring your stress, bring your burdens to him and he will give you rest right and we're not just we're not talking about rest as in sleep right we're not you know that's not the only kind of rest I feel like that's the only time uh in in our culture we're not a culture that that likes to to rest we are a culture that is go 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 all the time right and, and there's even this egg you know ain't no rest for the wicked like you need rest, not just physical rest, but real rest. You need to slow down and allow yourself to just be still, right? Quiet your soul, quiet your spirit, quiet your mind, and still your body. Let yourself rest. Let those anxieties go. The last couple of weeks we talked about emptying yourself and being filled up um, with, with Christ. And that's so relevant to this. That's such a great segue into this series, into this particular topic of, of rest. Because when you empty yourself out, so you... You give your burdens, you bring them to him, you bring them to Christ, bring all your burdens, your stress, your anxiety, your exhaustion, your worries, your, you know, whatever it is that you're carrying around that is just weighing you down and you are exhausted and you are, you can't focus because you're just stressed out and you got too many things going a million miles an hour and you know well what if you know my finances fall apart and what if this relationship falls apart and what if I can't get this done at work in time and what if and what if and what if and what if <sighs> slow down just slow down and bring that to him give it to him and he will give you rest. Empty yourself out of that and let him fill you with rest, with peace, right? Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. Um, the funny thing is that I'm literally forcing myself not to work today. Good, you need that sometimes. You genuinely need that sometimes. And, and I'm not kidding. I, so in my previous job, I was, I literally was doing like six people's jobs every single day. Like I was so high strung and so exhausted all the time. Like it was insanity. And, and I got to a point where I was just like constantly having like complete panic attack, freak out moments in the office with my manager and it was just brutal and it got to the point where my manager was like okay do you need to take a personal day <laughs> and i'm like no i don't need to do that right like i'm fine like i can do this and you just think that you need to keep going and you need to prove that you can do the thing and you're you know you're gonna be fine and i can handle it you know what let me just remind you that 
Christ is telling you, you need to rest. You need a break. You need to let yourself be still. You need to just let your mind be emptied and just, just rest. Give yourself that opportunity. You really, really need that. We all need that. And there's so, all over scripture, all over scripture. I love that that's going to be our focus this week because I mean, I need that reminder too. I've got a lot of stuff going on. I've got, you know, all my home life, my family life and everything. I've got tons of stuff going on with our community and, you know, and the list goes on and on. There's, we all have stress. We all have the baggage that we carry around. We all have those burdens. We're all weary in some way about something, right? All throughout scripture, it tells us to be still, to rest, to let God give you peace. And, and I'm so excited about all the different things passages we're going to go in today and it's going to take all that I can to you know to not just jump ahead and jump into all of it today I'm trying to like space it out all week long right um but but today our 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 focus is come to Jesus bring that baggage with you to Jesus bring that weariness to him Bring whatever it is that you're stressed out about, whatever it is that you just, your brain is constantly going a million miles an hour. Just bring that to him and hand it to him and say, oh, man, take this from me, Jesus, right? It's not that he's taking the work from you. Like the work is still going to be there, right? Like we know this, okay? The work is still going to be there, but when you give him the stress about the work he gives you peace and he gives you rest he allows you to to rest and kind of recuperate yourself and be refreshed and then you can better tackle that work at the right time but if you don't have rest you're not going to be efficient you're not going to be tackling this effectively because you're going to be so stressed out that you can't you can't work at the capacity you, you know you could if you have had a chance to rest. That's why, you know, first of all, there's weekends for a reason, right? And, and I say this knowing that, you know, you guys very well may be uh, salaried, so maybe you're not, you know, hourly, but, but still, there's, there's off hours for a reason. You have to rest. You have to let that go. And, and you can pick it back up when the time is right, but, but the time is not all the time. So if you need an extra day to find that rest, take that blessing, take that need, take that opportunity because you have to take care of yourself. And as we jump into this series, this series is healthy you. If you are not healthy, you cannot take on all of these things that God is going to put in your path in, in an effective way. If you aren't taking care of yourself, how are you supposed to take care of God's work? Right? You, you have to take care of yourself. It's not selfish, which is totally what our culture says, right? That's totally our society is that it is selfish to take care of you. It is selfish to think about you. It is selfish to, you know, take a personal day from work because you're losing your mind. Like, it's not selfish. That is healthy, okay? Not all the time. Like, you don't just, oh, well, I'm not going to work for a week just because, you know, I'm fine, but I just, you know, I want to go on, you know, I just want to sit at home and, you know, just let everybody else do the work. It's going to be a tough week. They'll figure it out. Like, you know, intentionally just being lazy about it, that's totally different. But let's face it, like, that's not what we're, that's not what's happening, right? You need to rest. Vacation is necessary. Time off is necessary. Weekends are necessary. Evenings not focused on work is necessary, right? You need to let yourself rest. So I am really glad that you are forcing yourself to take a, take a day off of work, Okay because that is healthy to do that every once in a while. And recognizing when there's a need for that is so important, so important. 
So good job. Be proud of yourself for that and, and just take this opportunity to be at rest. I do want to hop in to grab do, 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 do. I'm gonna hop into the study Bible because I would like to dive into what does this you know chapter or, uh, uh, verse 29 and 30 mean? And I'm not the best at explaining that on my own. So we're going to jump right in here and say, oops. All right. So we, it says, take my yoke upon you and learn from me for I am gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And this note in particular says, this is my women's study Bible. Don't be deceived by it being targeted at women. The notes and the content and everything are incredible. I love this. Um, so it says, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> oh my goodness. Excuse me. Hiccups. It says, Jesus is the touchstone for everything. Individuals are to come and take his yoke and he does the rest. <laughs> no pun intended. Uh, a person who labors is struggling and one with a heavy burden is overloaded. The yoke with a double harness in which two animals pulled together. Often one harness was larger and meant for the stronger, more experienced animal, while the smaller was used for the animal being trained. The yoke of Jesus clearly implies that even though individuals are free from the law, they are not to make their own rules. Rather, they are to be harnessed to him, living life his way. Oh, man, I love that description. Okay, so so let's let's kind of let's kind of dive into that a little bit. Kind of paint a picture in your mind, if you will. Okay, so so when we're talking about a yoke, right? So as it describes it here, the yoke, so imagine, um, like imagine two, we'll just say horses for the sake of easy imagining. Two horses are pulling a very heavy uh, cart, okay? A very heavy cart, two horses. One of the horses is much more experienced much, much, um, stronger. And it's, it's seasoned. It knows what it's doing, right? It knows the path that you're going to take. It knows how to properly carry the weight. Um, you know, it is the teacher. And then you have the younger horse that is, um, that is learning. It is watching this, this larger, stronger, you know, more experienced horse and it is learning from it. Okay. So the stronger horse has a bigger yoke, but it is stronger and it can carry it better, right? The smaller horse has a smaller yoke and it's going to have a harder time carrying that weight and pulling that weight because it doesn't know what to do yet. So as you know, as, animals do they they <laughs> sometimes they are very stubborn right if you can imagine horses horses are very intelligent creatures they are very stubborn sometimes and it takes a lot of training so a an inexperienced horse for a while will probably try to figure out how to you know adjust and carry this weight on its own and you know it wants to show off and it wants to it wants to you know outrun this you know or out carry this uh, uh this experienced horse and and uh you know oh well this guy you know he's just he's you know he's leaving all this weight for me to carry you know he's just handling this so well like i'm just you know i'm just pulling all this weight and and how often do we feel that way? You know, I'm doing all the work here. I'm going through this. I'm handling this. I have control, right? But when that young horse stops and looks at 
the seasoned horse, the experienced stronger horse, and watches and pays attention and, and learns from this stronger horse, he understands how to carry that yoke, how to handle it, how to lighten his yoke and, and walk better, walk stronger, walk more effectively, more efficiently, and not get burned out so quickly because he's learning from this more experienced, stronger horse on how to carry the load. So, as you can imagine, the stronger, more experienced horse is Christ, <laughs> and the stubborn, uh, needs to pay attention, little, you know, uh, younger horse, less experienced, train in training horse is is us, right? We need to watch him, and learn from him what to do, right? So that's a really weird uh, picture, but. It, it really, it makes, it makes sense. You know, um, we went into the last couple of weeks that, um, when we, um, learn more about Christ, we learn more about how to live better, right? When we, as we learn more about Christ, we learn more about how we are called to live. And, and that's the same thing here. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart. Watch him. Learn about him. How does Christ handle stress or stressful situations, right? How does he, how does he tackle the everyday um struggles and pains that we go through and get through it without freaking out, right? There's so much in scripture about, about him and this right here, this is just flat out saying, you know, bring that stress to him, bring your weariness to him, bring your burdens to him and he will give you rest and, and, and take my yoke upon you. Watch what I do learn how I live, watch how I lead, take my guidance, learn from me, and you will find rest for your soul. But you have to look to Christ. If you want to find rest, you have to look to Christ. Okay. And I've totally slacked and I have not gotten a single step in. Cause I forgot I do that a lot. I did that on Friday and then I ended up doing double steps Friday and Saturday. I, I, I got double steps in to make up for it <laughs> after, after our stream. So if anybody has any comments on that, by all means, let me know. I know that was a little bit of a weird uh, story there. And then the other um, the other place that I really want to dive into this morning is Psalms 23. Um, I love Psalms like a lot. Um, Psalms is just filled with so much motivation, so much encouragement, so much enlightenment, so, just so, so much. Um, that we need and I want to hop into Psalms 23 together um, so let's see oh and if you were not aware oh, page just refresh that was weird if you are not aware um, I am on bible.com okay so bible.com is an amazing free resource if you are um like if you want to just take the bible with you wherever you go there's an amazing app for it for um for your phone there are tons of reading plans tons of different translations that you can read it in so no matter your preference it's probably there um i have a parallel up right now so i have niv and nkjv um so the, for the people who are actually watching 
um, you can kind of see two different translations. Um, hang on one second, mom moment. Aha, my child is behind me trying to look up what I'm reading here. Psalm 23. All right. You're okay. All right, so we're going to jump in here. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Good morning, Tux. Looks like my moderators caught a little something. I'm not sure. I'm sorry that you feel that um, your comments being moderated is not a good thing. Um, I'm not sure. I did not see what, what was said. But if it was moderated... Okay. Well, we are, um, well, welcome to the channel. We are just jumping into Psalms. We just read Psalms 23, and we're talking about rest. Um, so in Psalms 23, this is also one of the most famous um, Psalms that, that people talk about. And if you see that I'm kind of moving around, I'm finally getting my steps in. Um, highly encourage people to be getting some movement in at this point. If you need to get some stretches in, you take a little, take a little moment to get some stretches in. Um, we've been together for about an hour now, so that's a good point to, to do that. I'm getting my steps in here. I have a QB, a little foot stepper under the desk um, to stay active while we are um, engaged here. Um, but I love this Psalm. I love so much, um, just so many things that this touches on. Move my cup out of the way so I don't spill it. So I'm going to hop over real fast here, and we're going to walk through this together. <laughs> Anybody have a favorite uh, psalm? by chance Just curious so like in this series we're, we're gonna end up going into a lot of psalms <laughs> psalms is amazing for this topic okay so the lord is my shepherd i shall not want or in this translation the lord is my shepherd i lack nothing so <laughs> this in itself is one of the most, definitely one of the most quoted verses. Um, the Lord is my shepherd. So we see this imagery in scripture a lot, right? Um, the shepherd leads the flock. He protects the flock. He takes care of the flock, right? Um, he is our shepherd. He, he, he protects us. <laughs> Excuse me. He leads us. He guides us, he grooms us, he trains us, he rebukes us when needed, right? With our shepherd, we lack nothing because we have everything we need in him. And that is what that's saying, okay? I lack nothing. So even if you look at, you know, your current situation and you're like, well, 
I feel like I lack an awful lot, right? You don't lack what you need when you have Christ. If you have Christ and you have your faith placed in him, you have faith that he will provide for all of your needs and he knows what your needs are, right? So even if you feel like your needs are not met, um, he's going to provide for you. He's going to provide for you. You have to trust him. You need to lean into him and let him be your shepherd, right? He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. That right there is a great, great depiction of rest, right? He makes me lie down in green pastures. So if you were a happy little sheep, um, you would absolutely love hanging out in those green pastures and, and leading you to water that is not, you know, rampant and, and raging and, you know, dangerous for you to go and have a drink, right? You want quiet waters that you can go and just peacefully have your drink and be refreshed, right? You don't want the chaos and the raging rivers and, you know, you want quiet waters, green pastures that are just fresh for you to eat, right? Um, that, is, that is his provisions for us. That is the rest that he brings to us, refreshing your soul. He will give you that rest. Lean into him and trust him. Guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Um, he will take you down the right path according to what he knows is the right path right? He knows what you need and he will take you there via the path that he knows is right. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil for you are with me. No matter how dark and, and upsetting or stressful or how much struggle and pain is in your life right now, he is with you in all of it. And he has a plan for you. He has, he has a destination for you. He knows where you're going. He knows when you're going to come out of that dark phase. Um, and he, and he wants you to learn from that. And he wants you to grow with him and trust him and let you be led by him, right? He wants you to let him lead you. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Um, <laughs> sometimes we need a bit of discipline right? We need to be corrected. And that is the rod and staff. That is correction and sometimes discipline from God because we are not doing what we are called to do, what we need to be doing. Um, and it's comforting because we can rely on his correction, right? We can rely on his correction. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Um, the last couple of weeks we, in our series, we were talking about um, being emptied of ourselves, being filled up with God, with Christ, and rejoicing always, that there's always something to rejoice over. And this one right here, surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. That right there is absolutely a reason to rejoice and find rest and find peace. Because God is with you wherever you go. And Jesus dwells in you and he is with you wherever you go. And his goodness and... His goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. Right? That is something to rejoice over. And that is something that we can rest assured <laughs> that our Savior will be with us. And be at rest because he is with us. Okay? Any comments any input any thoughts anything at all
rest. We need rest. That is, that is the point we want to drive home here is that we need rest and we need Christ to lead us and to guide us and to provide for us. And he will, he will provide rest. He will provide peace. He will provide whatever it is that we need. We just have to, we have to lean into him. Let him be our shepherd.